The hottest bants from the last ship post came from Alex Andros and the Mark 1994. If you'd like to see your bant or your middle school gym teacher who's now in prison's bant featured in the next ship post, leave it in the comments down below. Pizza time. What's up, boys and Derek? It's the dark side of the internet's favorite shit, Lord Oslo. You know what we're fucking doing, but we gotta pick up where we left off. No, I'll piss in your mouth. Yeah, that. However, before we get to all of that, let's jump back up the timeline a little bit. As you boys know, this saga got kicked off when LSB and Agent Proper went on Nick Ricada's stream to talk DSP lore. So he crowned himself the King of Hate? Yeah. God, is he literally related to Maddox? And once Nicky Rackets got one side of the story, he wanted to get the other and reached out to Phil. I've been legally advised not to speak publicly about things in my personal life. Content creators, including yourself, have created a fervor. What the fuck? This isn't Shakespeare, Dave. This is a tweet. You're not gonna get fucking graded. You're just gonna get called a dumbass in the replies. A fervor of mass misinformation that led to this. If you'd asked me months ago, instead of having your fun, maybe it would have been different. Oops. All right, let's see where this goes, boys. Arcata responds. Dark shoots back with a, As a lawyer, I'm sure you can understand understand why. Listen to the advice of my legal counsel instead of a content creator that regularly dragged my name through the mud for months for personal benefits without an ounce of remorse. Get your clickbait elsewhere and good riddance. Ricade only did a couple streams with you as the main talking point or the main topic. Also, when you say without an ounce of remorse, makes you look like a fucking crybaby overselling it. These guys just made a couple streams and laughed at you, Phil. It wasn't some hell in the cell shit. Lastly, Nikki Rackets is a real lawyer, so you using the air quotes makes you look like a huge retard. We get another professional reply from Rakeda, and the dark side of the internet keeps moving forward. That is until we get to Animal Crossing. Someone who's been making fun of me on the internet for months with, you know, videos that are not only insulting but prying to my personal life with very insulting thumbnails on the videos to get clickbait. There we go again, crying about clickbait when we clickbait ourselves. And someone who then, after months and months of doing this, now contacts me on Twitter and says, we want to come on my show. Fuck no, you idiot. You've been fucking defaming me for months. Why the fuck would I go on your show now, you stupid idiot? It's like people are so dumb that they don't realize that once you've insulted someone for endless time, now, now you grease me on my show? No, I'll piss in your mouth. How about that? What? No, I'll piss in your mouth. You want to piss in another man's mouth, Phil? Ha! <laughs> Gay! Fuck you, I'm not gonna deal with that stupid shit. Imagine just turning 38 and then a couple weeks later you're talking about pissing in another man's mouth on Twitter. So, you know, it's common sense but these people don't have it. That's right, if you do a couple streams with some meme boys, have a couple giggles, that means you have zero common sense. However, most people with common sense would know not to say they would want to piss in another man's mouth or get in Twitter slap fight for the guy way out of your league. We get one more response from Rakeda and that's where the saga ends for now. However, this is Darks to Phil, so we can obviously expect Back some sneak disses and some baited rants. Something to look forward to, boys. All hail Satan. All hail Satan. Oh, bad news. Well, I've come down with a bad ear infection, causing excruciating pain. I'm supposed to have medicine delivered today, but I can't stream when it feels like there's a knife in my ear. I'll update everybody later today on how I'm doing and revise the schedule. Sorry. Well, this explains a little bit of Phil's cunty behavior. Little boy be dark got an ear infection. If anyone has any tips. No, 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 Dark. This is Twitter. We don't do that here. On how to ignore extreme and constant stabbing pain. Please share. This is by far the worst pain I've ever experienced. I don't feel sorry for you. Can't think straight or do anything. Can't tweet or do anything, but we can throw a bitch fit on Twitter. Oakley dokley, Phil. Thank goodness the meds are in route for delivery. <laughs> meds are here and the first helping of eardrops have been administrated. Let's hope they take a positive effect by the end of today. In the meantime, it seems like most are telling me to forget about Warzone entirely and bump ass the king to next week. Makes sense that you'd want all games I like. <laughs> There won't be any stream tonight, as I'm recovering from this ear infection. If the stabbing pain stays gone, I will resume streaming on Thursday, and I'll be posted an amended schedule 
to that effect later tonight. Okay, Phil's Bueller's taking the day off. I don't get why if he's using the word if, implying that shit's already stopped and he's feeling better. Then again, I'm not a doctor, and besides, the dark side of the internet's been a poppin' lately, so a night off for the boy might do him some good. Being stuck lying horizontally on my side with an ear full of medicine feels very weird. Instinct is to shake liquid out of your ear immediately when it goes in, but I'll keep doing this for a week. So I gotta get used to it, lol. Followed by one of the worst pictures of DSP we have seen in a while. Wake me up! Wake me up! You know what this shit reminds me of, boys? Same energy. And the pre-stream following this tweet was a lot of fun. So, here's the deal, everyone. I've had an ear infection since last week. I just didn't really tell anybody because you know me. We know you as a shady ass liar, Dave. One who scams his audience and undermines everybody around him to get what he wants. AKA a fucking scumbag. Also, from all this, a huge fucking crybaby. I try to push through whatever the hell's going on with me, and I try to be here consistently for you guys as much as I- We know why you're here, Phil, because if you weren't, you'd be more fucked than you already are. What is the medicine called? I don't fucking know. It's like, Nizapazapram, Kazabazapam, Cortisolabam. Hey man, don't be a dick. People just want to know what the magic medicine's called. You really hyped it up in those tweets. Maybe they want to use it to cure whatever ailments they have. Um. So PW Dubs cheered again and says, I just asked what the medicine was, not that I didn't believe it. Yeah, but I'm not gonna go, do you want me to go to my bed? You actually want me to walk across my house to my bedroom. You want me to pick up the bottle of, it looks like a bottle of eye drops. You want me to pick this up and, and read you the fucking, who fucking cares the name of the medicine is? Why would you ask that unless you don't believe me? Right? Genius? I mean, it would get him to shut the fuck up. Along with a large majority of people on the dark side of the internet X and a doubt on this ear infection. All I'm saying is if you got up, went across your house, picked up the bottle, read the bottle, and told us, it gives some credibility to your story. But when you're out here talking potions, it's hard for people to believe you. I think I'm making it up. I'm not. And if you think so, fuck you. I don't think you're faking it. Maybe you're being a little hyperbolic for the internet, but that's kind of the norm for you, dude. Seriously, I'm in so much fucking pain this last weekend and trying to hide it and put out good streams for you guys. And failing at it. And you have these the biggest shitheads on the planet. No, hi, Dave. Saying that I'm making it up and stuff. Go fuck yourselves. I don't care about you. He doesn't care, but he's gonna get really upset about it anyway. Because he clearly doesn't care, boys. I really just hope that you fucking find something better to do with your lives because I just don't give a fuck anymore about stupid people. Be skeptical. Like, you can go seriously... Jump off a fucking cliff. Doesn't care about the trolls, but wants them to jump off a fucking cliff. That's not very funky of you, guy. If you think that I would make this up, with the amount of pain that I was fucking in, fuck off. The pain wasn't enough for you to stop tweeting, though, and trying to get Twitter sympathy points. Gee fucking Willikers Dark. In a single shit post, you have said that you want to piss in another man's mouth and you've wanted a bunch of people to jump off a cliff. Is there something he can't do, boys, other than the right thing? Or be good at video games? Or be financially responsible? Shut the fuck up when I'm talking, you s- We interrupt this broadcast with breaking news. Today, on my last day of my medicine regiment for my right ear, my left ear is now hurting. Talk to a doc and confirm the infection has crossed into the other ear. Now I need more meds. This saga will never end. That's probably one of the most insightful things you've said in a while, Phil. Also, I'll give you some bonus points for being a little bit meta. But hopefully, I'll be able to stream tomorrow as meds are on the way. Alright, Dave, you go milk that ear infection for all it's worth. People will not make fun of you for it, I guarantee it. Shut the fuck up when I'm talking, you stupid anime bitch. Oakley doakley boys, I'm gonna let fate decide what we talk about next. Heads, we run through some quick extras. Tails, we check in on Twitch Plays Morrowind. That went behind my desk. Fuck. Bit of bad news, boys. I lost the first coin. Luckily, I got a second one. All right, we're going to Morrowind. Thymaster cheered and said, maybe you could give five subs to random viewers if you hit a 100 vest streak. I mean, I have to see how things are going. You know, that's that's money that I need to spend on bills and stuff, but let's see what happens. Oh, come on, Dark Side Scrooge, don't be like that. If you hit the 100 vest goal, that's a lot of fucking money. You can afford to give away a couple free subs. Do that thing called fan appreciation. Um, I was thinking doing something celebratory like doing a, something special on that stream uh, that's out of the ordinary. Yo, dumbass, this is the dark side of the internet. Everything's out of the fucking ordinary. Um... 
or maybe like I said, have a special new vest or something. Would you get one so you can look like one of your favorite Wrestle Wrestle boys so you could role play even harder? But let's see what happens between now and then. I mean, the pay piggies carried your dumb ass to 50 and anything is possible on the dark side of the internet. We, you know, let's not get ahead of ourselves. We don't know if we're gonna hit a hundred vest streak. That's kind of ridiculous and presumptuous when we've only just hit 62, okay? <clears throat> let's not go crazy here. It's not crazy, it's being smart by planning ahead. Secret Squirrel thinks I should join a biker gang. Now comes the part where we throw our heads back and laugh. Ready? Ready! <laughs> Could you boys imagine DSP as a 1% biker, Sons of Anarchy style? You got the shit? No, I gave it to some new guy. What new guy? Boss found some tubby guy at the liquor store. He looked desperate for cash, so we gave him a job. I don't think he'll last long. All for the sake of the organization, let's hope. Hello, everyone. Darkside Phil here. Uh, okay. You got the shit? The truth of the matter is, I sold it all so I could get Hulk Hogan Superstar Vest Edition. See? He's wearing a vest like us. Pretty cool, huh? Well, it looks like you were right, Dennis. And scene. This sucks more than anything that I've ever sucked before. Yes, they do give out vests, but not this kind of vest. They give out patches, you know, leather vests. Actually, they call them cuts, right? And then they put patches on their cuts as they earn them in the, in the gangs. But I don't fucking qualify for that. I'm just a little pansy who plays video games all day. I'm not a badass riding a motorcycle. Come on. How self-aware of you to point that out? Who the fuck do you, you think this is? <laughs> come on. Yeah, come on. This is Dark Side Phil, one of the pettiest bitches in gaming. YouTube got to me a dollar. said, what do you think of bra and panties matches at WWE? Personally, I think they're pretty hot. Oh, let's brace ourselves for this little bit of exceptionalism. All right. You want to know the truth? When I was younger and I was you know, a teenager who liked that kind of shit, of course I liked it. Everyone who's a young dude is going to say they love the bra and panties matches. Today, I think it's the most stupid thing ever. Now that we're out of the Attitude Era, you know, of the 90s. We've talked about this in video games, too. Every video game in the 90s had to be edgy, had that sexual humor, and had to have all that stuff in it, right? I'm not sure what Phil hates more, the 90s or fucking trolls. Either over-the-top gore violence or over-the-top sexual humor. That's what the Attitude Era was in WWE as well. But once women start actually getting... getting bleh, once women actually got to start being treated equally as, you know... Women's division is just as serious as the men's division. They have just as good matches. They get just as much prominence on the pay-per-views, etc. That all has to go away. Enough of the 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 the, the sexualizing. Enough of the uh, turning women into objects, objectification. And instead, of treating it seriously. If you want WWE to be a serious thing that people enjoy, then you have to let go of that stuff. You see what I'm saying? Like, there has to be a point where you say, you know. We're gonna do away with all that crap and they did luckily they did and I'm happy they did because I'd much rather Watch a product that's serious competition with a lot of skill and the women aren't treated like pieces of meat You know what I mean? I, I prefer that um, But of course when you're younger when you're a dumbass teenager and you get a boner every five seconds You like the broad pangs matches, you know, but no, I'm glad that they're over with quite frankly um Lives were sold cheered and said at the far northwest of the map there's a town called Skull Village that contains the mantle of the woe that gives you a massive spellcast multiplier. Don't sell it though. Apparently it kills it kills the merchant if you do so. What the fuck? There's some weird shit in this game. I killed Phil, gives it a sub to human milk. Congratulations, human milk. Thank you, I kill Phil. Ratcomb Laddick did 100 bit cheers. What do you mean you used to like bra and panties? Do you not like women anymore? I'm married. I don't need to look at other bra and panties. I have a beautiful woman who I live with and will be with forever. Keep telling yourself that, darling. Do I get to see your bra and panties whenever I want? Why the fuck you lying? Why you always lying? Oh my god. Stop fucking lying. I don't need to watch bra and panties matches at WWE. I'm a lucky guy. You lucky? No. You being an asshole though? Hell fucking yeah. A little bit ago in this clip, you're talking about how you don't want to objectify women. And then you say, I have a beautiful woman who I live with and will be with forever, who I get to see your bra and panties whenever I want. That's not very cash money of you, Dave. Oh, uh, uh, let me see here. For, for us without a lot of money, Little Caesar's godlikes is Polish fraud. 
Well, here's the thing. Remember, I used to also have very little money. Oh, goody. Boomer side Phil is gonna regale us with a story. Back how he used to be a normie poor person. Like he isn't one now. I told you guys what I used to do. Domino's in the mid-2000s, so we're talking like 15 years ago. They used to have a 555 deal. Any pizza, any medium pizza, any toppings, $5 if you order three. So I would do like Philly cheesesteak pizza, and then I would do like, um like all the meats and then i would do just like a standard like cheese and pepperoni and i would no lie eat three medium domino's pizzas twice a day so they'd make two meals of the day would be domino's pizza for three to four days straight so fifteen dollars would feed me for three to four days straight i was incredibly unhealthy it was pure fat and grease awful for your body but that's what i put myself through when i used to work at best buy i there was a mcdonald's outside the best buy in the same parking lot and i would get up in the morning go there and buy two mcdoubles and i would eat two mcdoubles in my car i'd go to work on the way out of work i would go back to mcdonald's and i would get a mcdouble and two mcchicken sandwiches and i would go home and eat that for my dinner so that's what five dollars five dollars to fill myself all day that was what I ate all day long. That's really pathetic, dude. There are ways to eat decent and be on a budget. You don't gotta order a fuck ton of McDanks and slip into your car like you're some wannabe internet fat girl. I'm, I've been there with you guys. Like, I know people don't believe me when I, I tell you these stories from my past. Well, when you have an ego the size of yours, it's hard to find you relatable, dude. They're like, oh, I don't believe. That's true. I used to be very, very poor, and I also... Used to be in a very bad, you know, position health-wise. So then not much has really changed? It's like really gross, the things I used to do to my body. And uh, I hear you guys that have to go through those sacrifices to make ends meet, because I used to be in the same exact situation as you. Okay, um... Moral of the story, don't do that. Just don't do that and you're golden, pony boys. Well... God to me $4.20. It says, one day when you're old, well, you'll look back at the trolling and detracting and have a good laugh. I mean, he's already looking pretty old now. Got a feeling within a couple years, Cat's gonna throw him in a home. Feels geriatric, man. I mean, to some extent I will. Some of the things that have been said and done are just silly, because they're so ludicrous. But I'll be honest, some of the things that are made up and that are spread as fact are incredibly, incredibly hurtful to me. Oh, they're so hurtful, but he won't give examples. Because I guess Phil Burnell wants to be a man of mystery. Or maybe he's lying. And my family... <laughs> and my personal life like there's stuff that's happened you know that made things go really badly for me uh behind the scenes i'm not gonna tell you guys but i want you to feel sorry for me you're 38 years old fucking get over yourself that's fucked up you know and these idiots think that it's funny and they think that it's like oh you know we just fuck with phil constantly because it's a joke it's not, you know, it's to the point where it's like really seriously fucked up the stuff that they do to me. It's so fucked up that people are making memes and videos about you streaming your content, laughing at you. That's really fucked up. All right, then lack of perspective side, Phil. And it hurts me concretely behind the scenes and stuff that I don't talk about. He doesn't talk about it, but what the fuck is this then? And you know, that, I'm not gonna, never gonna laugh about that. That's all right, Phil. Everyone else will laugh at you. I'm never gonna laugh about that. You know, making my life a living hell, making my life insanely fucking stressed out and fucked up because you get a laugh out of it. Yeah, fuck off. That's not funny. I'm all going to be like, I'm, I'm glad I don't have to put up with that shit no more when it finally ends. But I'm never going to laugh about that stuff. It's just not funny, the stuff that they do to me. Oh, shit. I was going to say, let's go for 770 and I went to like a thousand. How about instead of you crying about the trolls, you focus on the game, aka your job? De Devi tipped me a dollar thirty. He says, "I have to ask how how good did it feel to nut on camera, knowing everyone was watching?" Shit, I knew I was forgetting something. Anywho, is these happy fap anniversary boys for those lads new to the dark side of the internet? The fap anniversary is the day we all come together and laugh at that time DSP jerked off. Hello, hello, and welcome.
welcome. Oh, the camera's on. The camera's been on the whole time, huh? I don't even know. Hello. I guess you can kind of think of it like Christmas, except Santa Claus looks like shit and he jacks off instead of gives you presents. So it's nothing like Christmas. Um, not very good. It didn't feel very good because I didn't know everyone was watching at the time. It was actually afterwards that I realized that everyone was watching, and that was quite embarrassing. Thank you for the dollar tip, whoever you are. And thank you for reminding me that we're pretty much coming up on the four-year anniversary of that, by the way. I believe it was early May 2016 when that happened. Um, I think, if, I, if I'm remembering correctly. Oh, come on, man. How do you not know this? This is your own lore. When I was playing the Neo 1 beta, uh, or was it Alpha? It was a Neo 1 something when that happened. This is your crowning moment on the internet, Phil. Everybody knows you as the guy who jerked off on stream. It's either that, or you're the guy who sucks dick at video games. Um, yeah, thanks a lot. Oh, <laughs> I mean, people were bound to bring it up. It's the thing you're most famous slash infamous for. We have hit the tip's goal. We've actually exceeded the tip's goal. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time for the best. Get down, Spaz. Yes. Yes. The vest, yes. You guys know how to invest in the best. Oh yeah, Phil, you're the best at swindling the money out of the mentally handicapped and the underage. Um, Prince Yoshio tipped me $30, a ginormously positive tip. Thank you very much. He says, if you're on a boat and PW does a snow car were in the water drowning, you can only save one of them. Who would you say? You gonna say something or what? My dad is retarded. I would row away and laugh maniacally. Ha 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 ha! Ha 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 
And it was supposed to be a big parry of the Metal Gear Solid series and other uh, series with guns and stuff. Military. I think he's trying to describe a shooter, boys. Games, right? We were filming in this uh, business, place of business, where they had all kinds of props. They actually had a studio room where you could film and stuff like that. And there was a room where you could cut like video footage and stuff. It was a pretty professional place, pretty nice. And we were filming. And what happened was we were going through this closet where they had props and stuff. Well, in the back of the closet, they had a super old fire extinguisher. Okay. The fire extinguisher fell, exploded, went off. And that old disgusting fire extinguisher shit went into my lungs and my throat swelled up to the point where by the end of that day, I had completely lost my voice. 100%. I couldn't even talk because it had irritated my throat so badly. And ever since that day, I get periodic issues with my throat. Okay, let me try to get this straight. Since 2012, you've been having throat issues. Not because you never took care of yourself or your throat, but because a random fire extinguisher fell from a shelf. I'll go months where I'm okay, and then all of a sudden, my throat will swell up and be shitty for like a week or two. And then after like another week or two, it'll get back to normal again. Um. I don't know what it is. I don't know what it, the chemical could have fucked with my throat. Yo, anything could have happened with that fire extinguisher. A fucking creepy ass witch could have put a curse on it for all Phil knows. You know what I mean? And it's just this on and off thing that happens to me now. All because a fire extinguisher fell. Every once in a while. And that was what, that was 2012? 2012. So that was eight years ago that that happened. And you're really going to sit here and blame it on something that happened eight years ago? You're a needle dick bitch, bitch. And it's funny. Because before that, you can actually hear distinctly in my videos, I used to be able to do high-pitched stuff with my voice all the time. I used to be able to sing. And over the years, you can actually hear my voice degrading and getting lower and me not being able to do that anymore. Yeah, because you got older and you never took care of yourself. Because whatever happened to my throat, I don't know. Some fucked up thing. <clears throat> so, it is what it is. The other thing is that I already had a throat issue this, this coming like a few weeks ago. Then I got the ear infection because I am, you know, still getting over this ear infection. And yet you still find the strength within you to sit on stream and beg for money. You truly are a fucking hero, Dave. De you. So it's your respiratory system. It's like an instructor just said, ear, nose, and throat are all connected via your respiratory system. So Sometimes I'll be fine, then allergies will happen. I'll start sneezing. Next thing you know, my throat swells up. Next thing you know, you know what I mean? Like, it's a complex, annoying fucking thing that happens to me. So, it is what it is. I just want to get that out of the way, talk a little bit about that tonight. I'm not a fucking doctor or anything, but maybe it's just your allergies acting up and you just want to find something to bitch about. And DSP loves talking about the past, so it makes sense he would pin it on Project 7. But yeah, that's all I got for Twitch Plays Morrowind. Moral of the story, even in Dave's worst content, there's always something worth talking about. And it's gone, just gone like that, in an instant, fucking gone. So lately around the dark side of the internet, Phil's been feeling a little bit paranoid when it comes to his vest streak. He don't got faith that the pay piggies will carry him up the metaphorical mountain. So now in between his breaks, we get a tweet like, FYI, I'm back from break for over one more hour of Neo 2. For the first time ever, the vest streak seems to be in jeopardy. So let's see what happens. And there have been many examples of him pressuring his audience via Twitter, but nothing beats those tried and true methods to get the whales. I appreciate you coming by and supporting. That's right, it's very possible he saw the tweet that I said I was returning from break and you know, the vest streak might be in jeopardy today because here we were coming back from break, you know, only a little over an hour left and we weren't even close to hitting the goal. Um, like I said, I think what's happening is People are not taking for granted that the vest streak is going to continue. Oh goody, more piggy projection. And so, people who maybe would, would pay attention aren't really paying attention. Um, which is fine. Again, I'm not saying that it's a big deal if the vest streak doesn't continue. I'm just telling you, it's fine if it doesn't. If it's not a big deal and if it's fine, then why do you go to your Twitter and panic about it? Why do you pressure your audience even more about it? Why do you keep bringing it up? Well, I'm just saying, I know some people would actually be upset if the vest streak didn't continue. And they'd be mad at me that, oh, why didn't you tell us what was going on, you know? Yeah, your wallet and your bank account would be mad at you if the vest streak stopped. And that's why Dark's got to keep applying the pressure. Um, Chite to me, $1.30, so I got to look after my investment. Thank you, Chite, for the $1.30 tip. As you guys can see, we are way far away from hitting the vest goal today. I, I'm suspecting this is probably the end. I'm not going to lie. Um, 
and thank you to Genesis Gaming SWE for the top tip of the day. We're only at $26 in tips, guys. This is a far cry from hitting the tips goal for today. I am streaming until 4 p.m., so we got about 80 more minutes of Neo 2 here on the stream that are undoubtedly going to be full of rage and frustration, <clears throat> considering what I'm up against. Um, I hope you enjoy. If you would like to contribute and help hit the tips goal, please, by all means, do. But this may be the end. Um, I'm not going to lie. This is the furthest, again, that we've been from hitting the tips goal coming back from a break. So it looks like this may be the end of the road, guys. Um, all right. And if it is, it is. It's been a great run. You guys have been amazingly positive. I'm not complaining. Thank you for everything. All right. All right. You boys want to know my pro gamer tip to help DSP get to the 100 vest streak? Do something way cooler than the 50 vest streak video and have it ready on time. Because guess what? About a couple days late, we got that edited video, boys. It was whipped up for him by that anonymous. The usual DSP like to dislike ratio. And I say we give it a watch. Yeah, you should do something else because anything else would be better than that. But at least Anonymous got some seal claps out of Dave. Yes. Yes. What the hell is this? Yes. was awesome. So, thank you to that Anonymous for that commemorative video commemorating the 50 vest streak. I mean, incidentally, tonight we're at 63, growing on 64, depending on how tonight goes. But that was awesome. A little bit better late than never, as they say. And uh, that was really cool. Now, that makes me wonder what's going to happen at 100. Oh, I guess we'll have to see, won't we? Was it worth it? Fuck no. Will he get to 100? Probably. However, we just got to wait and see, boys. I wish that I could... Prove what I say. So there's this website out there called Cameo where you pay a celebrity and they'll give you a little video message. Enter from stage right the dark side of the internet. Dark sea devil. Holy shit, it's Andy Dick. I do kind of like the way he said Phil's name. Gives him a douchebag art house vibe. Is that how you say it? Dark sea devil? Or is it dark sea devil? Or dark sea de Phil? <laughs> Anyhow. My name is Andy Deek. No, it's just Andy Deek. A friend of yours, uh, I guess, oh, it's Phil, because your name is Phil. So Darksy, oh, I get it. It's Darksy DeFil. Ah, oh, see, you're getting a feel for it, just like that Lyft driver. You're, you are DeFil, and you're a little dog. I get it now. So you're a Twitch streamer, and your name is 
dark sea death hill in case anybody's watching because people do watch my cameos by the way i mean a lot of people watch this one you spell it if you guys are on twitch which i am but they kicked me off but then i went back on and they let me back on which is weird so i'm kind of like in limbo i'm just i got back on and i'm just sitting there not doing anything about it because i'm so, Darksy, D A R K S Y, Darksy, one word, D E P H I L, like Phil, like Phil Hartman. So, Darksy de Phil, D A R K S Y D E P H I L, yeah. So, thank you so much, Darksy de Phil. Thanks, Phil, for being a fan of mine. I really, really do appreciate that. I mean, who is not a fan of Andy Dick? Who's appeared in such great movies as Employee of the Month, Sharknado 2, Tom Green Live, the Matthew Broderick Inspector Gadget, and a bunch of other shit I've never heard of before. And, um, the, uh, yeah, quarantine is just such... I mean, it's obviously getting on people's nerves, and it's, it's on... I cracked my ribs or broke them or some such nonsense because <laughs> it's just, they're clicking. Now when they click, that means they're broken. Right? Yes, right. You know what I'm gonna do? Put this, I love this painting. I'm gonna put it over here. I'm in the, my friend's, this used to be my apartment, my stuff, but I'm letting my friend take it over. Oh, that's so pretty, isn't it? You like that? All right, Phil. Let's see. Put it here. So I wanted to say, this is me. And uh, we we're all like those cats, basically. Isolating. Well, they're not isolating. See, at least you have friends. That's what I liked about Twitch. When I was on it, I would come home at 4 a.m. and just have fun and, you know, go on and talk to people and have fun. Uh, and then I had too much fun and they shut me down. You can't let them do that to you, Andy. Hashtag can't shut this bitch down. They just shut a bitch down. Me. Um... I said, back on, botch. So, we'll see how that goes. Then, I was going to tell you that, um, <clears throat> you can give away my booze and pills, forget my fame. I do not need any chronic weed. What's going on? Take that cocaine. Revoke my driver's license. Take the drugs and the alcohol. I'll be just fine without them as long as I can keep my cock and balls. Mom, can, can you pick me up? I'm scared. My cock and balls are sweet to me. I couldn't live without them. My cock and balls are not just me to me. I could never live without them. Oh, that's right. And when this life is over and the good Lord comes to call you, I pray he lets me see for another day so I can kiss my cock and balls, yeah. And you can kiss my cock and balls, yeah, yeah. Won't you please kiss my cock and Ba 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 Cock and ball Seems like somebody was 
care. Hmm. Interesting. Anyhow, Darkseed Diffil. I'll see you on Twitch. And maybe you could help me out. Go to my uh, website, andydick.com, and go to the bottom, scroll down, and then uh, get in touch with me and tell me how I can up my game. Because I was kicking ass on uh, Twitch and let Twitch shut me down. Because I was a naughty little dicky. Good luck to you. Thanks again for being a fan, buddy. I hope we run into each other. I'm in L.A., quarantined. I'm here in the whole city. Good luck. God bless. And let's get out of this together. Dark seed to fail. Godspeed. Okay. That was an acid trip and a half. Two major takeaways. One, Andy Dick is a really weird guy. Now I want Andy Dick and DSP to team up. Throw them both down in the love seat together. Put a couple games in front of them. Now that's what I call content. And there are plenty more cameos where that came from. Some from people I know. Phil, what am I to do with you? First of all, this very suspicious screen name, DSP. Why does that sound so familiar? Chris Hansen here. Hansen versus Predators to catch a predator and have a seat with Chris Hansen. And now, Phil, I'm going to need you to take a seat right over there. I don't mean to ruin your fun, Chris Hansen, but uh, Panda Lee left a long time ago. We're taking a very close look at Dark Side Phil's erroneous use of tips and bits to fund his addiction to wrestling pixels. Wrestling pixels. What do you do with wrestling pixels? Anyway, put on that vest and How's it going here? Real life Peter Griffin here. Hell yeah, I love the Cleveland show. But a message for Phil from your friends. Uh, your friends want me to tell you that they're concerned and that uh, your behavior has become toxic and uh, stress and financial issues are getting to you and uh, you should get a job. I mean, I had all different kind of jobs throughout the years. I mean, I work at a Portucket Patriot Ales right now, but uh, I mean, I was a fisherman and I worked at a toy factory. So uh, pick something, damn it. Eh. <laughs> Some people I have no idea who the fuck they are. Look here, look, listen, Dark Side Field. Do something with that patchy ass gold tee, bro. You gotta look fresh for court. You gout having motherfucker. Stop playing wrestling on your phone and get to the gym before a real nigga steal cat from you. Pig roach looking ass motherfucker. Tax evasion ass nigga. Right. Even some Russell Russell guy cut a cameo for Phil. Yo, 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 I'm former WWE Superstar and Hall of Fame pro wrestler Tony Ricca. And it's for you, Phil! What is going on? Yo, yo, yo! Hey, hey, now listen up, Phil! Hey, hey, Phil, hey, hey, you gotta stop spending. Yo, yo, hey, hey, stop spending your money on mobile phone games! Otherwise, I'll tell Nancy! Oh, oh, man, yo, 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 yo! Hey, 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 and you know what? You got one thing, one thing here, yo, yo! Make sure, hey, 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 you understand? Yo, you're listening, yo, you're listening? Hey, hey, make sure to be active to prevent gout. Hey, you don't want that, yo. Hey, I think you get that. I, th I hope you get that. Yo, 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 make sure you get that. But anyway, yo, 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 hey, 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 WWE champions like me, hey, hey, don't cry over video games. Hey, oh, you don't do that stuff. Hey, hey, you gotta stop it. Hey, 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 you know what? You know what? Hey, 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 you know what? You want a tip? Hey, I'll give you a tip! Yo, 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 hey, hey, don't overspend to prevent bankruptcy! Oh, yo, yo, yo! Hey, 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 here's the thing, here's the thing, yo, hey, 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 Bill, yo, yo, get your act together! Hey, all right, all right, all right, cop down right here, uh, get a little crazy here, but anyway, yo, hey, to let you know who hit me up, and that's Cat, yo, Cat, yo, yo, yo! Thanks for rooting me up, yo, yo! Hey, hey, let me know what's going on with Phil over there, yo, yo, hey, hey, hit me up anytime at Tony Rick at WWE on Instagram. Instagram, you know, Facebook, Twitter, too. Scrim's great. Follow me, I'll follow you back. Let me know. But Phil, hey, 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 get your act together. You know what? Hey, you know what? Uh, tell Nancy, I don't know. I don't want to do that. But yeah, get it together. All right. Hey, hey, I'm going to give you the yo's. Yo, yo, yo. Hey, yo, that might have been my favorite. So, uh, moral of the story, it's funny and weird to throw money at famous people for them to dunk on DSP. And with that, I'm calling it a shit post. Thank you so much again for watching another one of my weird ass videos. If you would like to cyberbully me, you can totally do that on my Twitter, at BasedOslo. Thank you so much again for watching. Be safe and make good choices out there.